So let's see, we're getting ready. The minute we go into that trend line, there we go, bang. We're, we're hitting, we're, we're 2% guys. Filthy. Oh my. Bit more, a bit higher, wait. Bang, go. Entered. I'm having a heart attack. 4% in 10 minutes. 4%. Come on, that's one of the best trades I've done in a very long time. Oh no, bang, bang, done. Goodness gracious. Uh oh. 1%. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> this is a very high risk trade, by the way, guys. 17. Yes. Bang. Done. Let's see. That got stopped out. Just that one quick spike before the candle closes would be ideal. Yeah, exactly. Oh, bang. Live. First now. This is absolutely gone for it. That's 3.3%. A little push. Push. Bang. I will enter. Bang. Perfect. So anyone with a 10 pips That's should nice. be okay. I probably will not be. Nope. RIP. Good evening, innovators. I everyone's had a great start to the week so far. Hopefully you've just seen the beginning of this video, which is um, basically an example and a bit of an introduction to a new feature and strategy we've introduced over into the innovation markets community. Now this is by name, it's technically a scalping strategy because this new strategy I've been developing and working on has been predominantly focused on the five minute and one minute timeframes which I'm now optimizing on the 30 second and 15 second time frames as well. However, scalping has a very negative stigma. It's related to what you could imagine as someone staring at the charts all day, burning their eyes out, getting in and out of positions very quickly, which isn't actually the case with what I've been working on over here. If anything, it's more of a scalping predominant time frame with trades that are focused more on an inter intraday basis with the potentiality to turn into swing trades. So as we can see here, I've managed to re-plot every single trade that we've taken from that little video prior. And all we're doing here is just a short video showing you guys the possibilities of what is actually achievable, not only with this strategy, but actually focusing more on the intraday timeframes. Now, many people kind of tend to stay away from this. They're either a bit scared of it, or they just don't think it's good because of all the negative kind of feedback or everything you hear online, blah, blah, blah. But it seems to be working pretty well. And in this video, I'll be showing you a quick overlook of a MyFX book I set up to backtest this account as well, which we'll be getting into any second as well. However, just to kind of kickstart this, just to go over each trade bit by bit, I wanna show you guys the possibilities of what can be achieved here. Now, the Forex market and the cryptocurrency market, as you guys know, with BTC at the moment, with where the prices currently are and the market rocketing. For those of us who are already invested in the market, it doesn't really make too much sense to be buying any further cryptocurrency investments as the majority of them are pumping across the board. This means we need to get creative. And whilst I was doing some swing trades um, on the Forex market in particular, my, pref my preference in terms of trading style for the Forex market, the market wasn't providing those optimal conditions to really try and capture those nice laid back, stress-free swing trades I was looking for. Now, the general rule of thumb with myself is when it comes to Forex or any other additional trading method that I'm doing, whatever financial market that may be that I'm trading, I'm always looking at it on a cryptocurrency basis in particular, whether that's, you know, you might get some birthday money, whether you make some additional profits. I like to try and turn those Forex profits and use that capital to reinvest. The goal here is to obviously amass wealth. The goal here is to, you know, quote, get richer. And the best way to do that is to continuously reinvest money and profits you make until you're eventually increasing your holdings, especially from a cryptocurrency basis. Now, this strategy I've been working on in particular is predominantly on the gold pair, the XAU USD pair. However, I've been back testing this on BTC and oil as well. And when I, before we officially started doing this live with the members, I did showcase it on BTC as well. And we had a great trade that pretty much went into around 4%. So even from the tester I done alone, before we went live, we've actually doing this live on the sessions. And for those of you that do not know, we go live frequently throughout the week with our members. 
where we now analyze the charts live together, we look for the setups together, and we execute the setups together. These are all market execution orders. And as you can see over here, we took pretty much one every single day besides this trade setup over here, which we'll kind of just go over bit by bit now. Just kind of show you what is actually possible utilizing these strategies on a smaller time frame basis. If we went over to the one hour chart as an example, it's a lot of chaos, there's a lot of mess, and there is no real clean trend in play right now. So I realized instead of sitting there getting caught out by the market, I had a bit of a losing streak as well, and it kind of just clicked to me. Instead of sitting there taking a trade and waiting for it to swing round, go down again, and just holding either a bit of drawdown or holding very minimal profits for a prolonged period of time, why not just switch down? to the five minute and one minute and see if there's any opportunities you can capture within all of the chaos that's going on. And that's exactly what we've been doing over the past week. Now, one of the first trades we took, if we just look percentage wise here, we didn't actually capture the entire movement, just to clarify, just to be transparent. It's not like we took this trade from the absolute beginning to end. However, I've shown the full movements here as a possibility of what can actually be achieved by using this particular strategy I've been developing. And we can see here, very minimal drawdown on the first entry and the beauty of that one minute and five minute time frame is, you are really capturing those major lows and highs of each individual trade. So you can see here from a monthly perspective, overall a very flawless entry the candle bodies did not necessarily break below the entry level we had some wicks spiking below but once we go back to that five minute we can see all in all this was a very nice trade now from what i recall on this particular trade i believe i took myself around three to four percent profit but in total across all these trades you're seeing here it is well over 20 percent plus now we can see from the full potential movement that was achieved here if we did hold the trade from the absolute top to bottom which realistically is very easy to say in hindsight but in the moment it can be a lot more harder. But the best thing is with these trades, because of the very tight stop losses and the huge upside potential, especially on volatile pairs like gold and Bitcoin, for those of you who are involved in the cryptocurrency market like myself, but a bit hesitant to jump on board now, this is an excellent way to grow your profits and then reinvest these back into crypto. Should you wish to either invest now, dollar cost average, or simply grow a holding of fiat on the side, ready to invest when the time is right. Now we can see here, even from the first real initial movement, we almost made 1%. That was a nice clean one-to-one -one RR. For those of you that do not know, if you're risking 1% on your overall account size, this is a great way to massively grow your account and easily, even when there's losses, as you will see very soon, I'll show you the losses, as you saw in the beginning of the video, very easy to take a few losses, whether they are two in a row, three in a row, or even just one loss at 1% risk each. It's very quickly outraged with the solid risk to reward and profitable opportunities here. So we can just see here with this entry, I believe I got out around this level. I've maybe have even been 2.6% to 4%, but I got out pretty quickly on this particular trade. And even though I didn't capture the full movement, I still managed to secure around three to 4% on this particular setup alone. I left it, waited the next day, and this was probably one of the best trades I've done in a very, very long time, which fortunately was executed live with the community. And we can see we got a pinpoint short entry there. This absolutely melted and achieved in total 9.6%. So when you consider the prior day's overall growth as well, you could have grown your account with these trades, just two trades alone, by 10% plus and on pretty much even 15% if you went for the full swing on both trades. And that's in two single days. And it can seem very unrealistic. It can seem crazy. You know, you see the average, the average interest rate in a bank account. You see what hedge funds provide. But the truth is, it's very easily achievable by risking no more than 1%. So you know, if you lose 1% over here, you lose 1%. But you also know it's worth taking that 1% risk, especially on these time frames where you can get in and out within a matter of minutes or within an hour or so, and you can easily make much more money. So the way I look at everything is, if I can risk 1%, is that 1% justifiable with what I could potentially achieve? And I've realized now by doing this and testing this for the past month or so, it definitely is the case. Now, I got out of this one at around 4%, and I actually took profits on this one live. I wanted to get out quite quickly around this region here. Left a little bit, 
So Rum, however, once this trickled down, we went straight into the next opportunity, which brings me to something I'm currently testing at the moment as well on an account I'll show you on the MyFX book in a second, which is hedging, scalping, and combining this all with swing trades as well. So I'm currently experimenting with different scalping and very small intraday timeframe um, strategies. And one thing you could have done in this situation, just as a bit of an eye opener, is let's just say you held the whole position down. You could have still executed this long position at the same time to hedge against the short position. If you were like me and you took some profits, then guess what? You've made 4%. You can now justify another four trades in a row at 1% risk. However, in this instance, I left a tiny bit to run, taking the 4% here, which even though a very good lesson to learn is, even though it did go down to 9.6%, that was a 4% growth on my account within a matter of minutes. So I did not complain in the slightest. Now, when it came to this situation here, whether you were holding and looking to hold as a hedge in the opposing direction with the buy, or whether you took your profits and then bought after, like I did myself, we nearly got stopped out in this one. That's why you have to be careful with these stop losses on gold in particular. Loads of wick fishing activity can usually commence. However, it tends to work out in your favor when those optimal entries are executed. So with this one, if you were holding, you could have executed this as a hedge and let this run while still maintaining a short position to run in profit as well. And once you started getting into profit on this one, you could have closed out a percentage of the short trade, let the long run as well. And the beauty of this is, this why I do not give specific profit taking targets all the time is because whether you are a long-term trader, whether you are a scalper, whether you're intraday or whether you're even, let's just say a yearly trader, the beauty of this is once you've got these solid entries, which the majority of them have seemed to have been so far with the strategy that I've developed, we can see that you could even take upon the first explosion a solid 2.7% around this region, 2.6, 2.7%. The same as I done here, taking around that 4% region over there. However, for those of you who are looking to potentially hold trades longer, you understand in line with other analysis on slightly higher timeframes, you're able to then decipher where price will potentially go next, which is obviously something we do live as well, to potentially hold these swings further. And let's just say upon the first explosion higher, you took a bit of profit off the table, put your stop loss to break even at this level, you still would have been safe. Even if it was in a bit of profit or break even, the trade would have continued flowing all the way up to around 5% profit, just under 5% profit. Now, when you combine these together, that pretty much is, with the full trades maximized there, that alone is pretty much 15%, not to mention this on top. These have almost achieved in total, remember the keyword here is total, almost 20% in free trades in the span of two days. And that in simple terms is growing your accounts if you went for the full swing trades or holding them for a bit longer than normal, that's almost 20% growth in your account, executing just free trades with no more than 1% risk. Now, when we go over here, we can see one of these trades. Let's go back very quickly. This trade, the following day, got annihilated pretty much straight away upon entering. We went a bit into drawdown, pretty much almost hit stop loss, went into a bit of profit, this achieved what? 0.8%, still not bad, but again, you wanna try and be going for those one to three percents at least. It got wiped out, we didn't care. Because with the huge risk to reward on these trades and because they're shorter timeframes, I've realized now it takes away that impact it can have psychologically when you lose a trade. Because when you know a new trade is right around the corner pretty much the next day or within a few minutes or a few hours, unlike swing trades where you can sometimes hold for a week only to go back to break even and all of this stuff, it can get very draining and very demoralizing and it can really put off your motivation. However, with these intraday timeframes and these one minutes and five minutes, we took the 1% loss, barely even dented the profits made from the past few trades and we continued again. Moving on to the next day, we then went into our next trade, which did achieve, again, almost 5% in total. However, I recall on this one, I did take around 2% or 3%. I didn't get the full movement. I believe I put my stop loss to break even if this was the correct one I'm thinking of. But either way, I know I didn't get the full movement out of this before it reversed against me. However, I still captured a solid 2 to 3% out of this. And again, recoup the losses from the day before, plus added on top of the original profits on top of that. Now going over to, I believe this was the last trade we done during the FOMC news event. 
As price started pushing higher, I wanted to go for one more short, potentially filling in some liquidity over here. Didn't work out, took me out at 1% loss, but in the grand scheme of things, over just several trades taken, there was a massive profit achieved. And overall, all of the community were achieving pretty much over 10% profit returns or 10% growth of their account purely by trading the one minute time frames. Now, just to quickly go over the MyFX book as well, we'll just refresh this just in case. Now we can see here, this is the innovation account. It's real GBP using Hugo's way, which is nothing I'm affiliated with. I have no affiliation whatsoever. I just use Hugo's way for strategy testing, messing around with some challenge or fun accounts and pretty much wherever I put money, I don't really care about losing or blowing if I'm testing accounts with high risk. I will do it here. So because they offer one to 500 leverage, I just use them for messing around, strategy testing, blah, blah, blah. But as we can see with this account, I deposited 101 pound and 63 pence on the 12th of March, 2021, which was exactly 10 days ago. Now, obviously this is not 1% risk. This is much larger risk and just me having some fun, experimenting with different strategies and stuff and doing much more risk than normal However, this account is currently sitting at around £1,600, which is obviously phenomenal growth considering it was a £100 deposit and it's proven very, very well, which is why I wanted to show this to you guys, not only just to show that the strategy clearly works, but also to provide a little lesson at the end of this as well on why you shouldn't necessarily be risking this much. I'm only doing this for experiment purposes and just because at the moment it is working. So if we just kind of go through this account over here, we can see daily growth, very nice. Monthly growth, very nice. Drawdown, 35%, 35.61%, which of course is absolutely expected when you're over leveraging and over risking, which is exactly what I'm doing on this account. However, the reason I have been doing this is number one, because I don't care about the money. I do not care if the account gets blown. It's purely just for the sake of having some fun whilst testing if it actually works in real life. However, when we go down, the reason I have actually just been risking quite a bit more, where I wasn't in the beginning, I was actually sticking to very small profits, is because as time started progressing, you can see today, a little bit down, 150 pound. However, this balance should actually be a bit higher now. It is sitting at around 1,800 pound with a few trades in a little bit of drawdown at the moment. However, that's because I'm testing the hedging strategy at the moment, so we've got some shorts. Currently in a bit of a loss, but I've been scalping some longs on the way, which have been massively increasing that balance after taking a £150 loss. So the account's well back up, thank goodness. But just to kind of show you guys, the main point and take home here is 81 trades out of 100 have been won, which obviously means we've lost 19 out of 100. So an 81% hit rate is pretty good, if you ask me. I'm very happy with how... It's been proving itself at the moment. Again, that's a lot of pips, but as you guys know, if you are experienced in the market, pips are not necessarily a measurement of success. There are people who can potentially capture 5,000 pips in a single swing trade, but if the stop loss is 3,000 or 5,000 pips as well, you're still only really going for a one-to-one, -one, one to two risk to reward ratio. So pips are an absolute meaningless measurement when it comes to trading. A percentage is a much more important factor to take into account. And I know, even if I was risking around one to 2% per trade on this account, the fact of the matter is with these kind of risk to reward ratios we're going for on every trade and 81 trades out of 100 being successful, we already know even if we were taking that two or 3% on every single trade, losing 19% along the way whilst massively profiting. And as you can imagine, that wouldn't really be an 81% win, even if we were risking 1%, that would at least be double, triple, or even quadruple that number because the wins are always bigger than the losses. And that's something I've been back testing massively on this particular strategy. So we can see here the average win, £30.51. The average loss is much bigger. Again, over leveraging, it comes with the game. £90 commission, blah, blah, blah. Overall, very good stuff. We've had a nice monthly gain. I'm not really looking to achieve anything in particular with this account. I'm not really looking to take it to a certain number. I'm just literally taking trades with no real consideration of risk to or risk management in general. I'm purely doing it to test, but I thought it'd be cool to show you guys anyway that as a matter of fact, growth is very easily achievable on small accounts, but there is of course the opposing side. And the reason this is not being replicated on my main account 
or any of my main accounts is because it would be too dangerous. And this is why for those of you who do have account sizes under 1,000 pound GBP or $1,000, you need to detach from the mindset that you're going to be achieving life-changing profits in the beginning. You're not going to be able to sustainably live off your trading account below a thousand dollars or a thousand pound or even five to ten thousand pound unless you are massively over leveraging now the brutal honest truth is if i maintain this kind of risk on this particular account it will probably get blown and there is a very strong likelihood it will get blown if i continue taking higher risk trades than what my account balance is really needed to do and this is the problem with a lot of newcomers into the markets so the reason i'm even showing this is is to show you that yes you may temporarily have some short-term gains, no matter how good the strategy is. Even if every single trade was, let's just say, 100% perfect, all it takes is that one trade you really over leverage on that can absolutely annihilate your account. So if this does get blown, I'm going to actually show this straight away as well, because it will be a very good lesson for those of you who do have account sizes within this region, trying to get that home run trophy trade everyone wants to go for the bingo the jackpot trade make thousands in one go but the truth is you do not actually need to do that and i'm going to show you this now with the trades let's have a look at the trade section there should be a history over here yep so if we just go to the very very beginning we can see we deposited the money um 140 pm 101 pounds and 63 pence and if we go down we can see the majority of trades won the most important thing to really take home from this is what kind of profits I was taking on in the beginning before I actually started just going a bit harder and just going, Do you know what, I don't care, this is just for fun anyway. You can see in the beginning, 83p, 45p, £1.58, £1.29, 82p, 11p, we had a nice Bitcoin trade that came through, £2.79, cut my losses short, £3, £4, £3, and then we started going a bit harder. But even in between, I'm taking those £2 and £4 fifties, which is a very, very important thing to understand. When you have account sizes below a £1,000, do not feel disheartened for taking one, two, three, four, five pound profit or even £10 profit off the table. When it comes to smaller accounts, the best way to grow these accounts, even when abiding to 1% to 2% risk, is actually to take those profits when they're there. And that's the beauty of this strategy with it being a very short time frame basis. You do not need to necessarily become too fixated on holding the trades for a very long time. You can definitely take some profits off the table. You can definitely leave some positions to run. But when you instantly go into profit with these scalp strategies or this scalp strategy in particular, there's absolutely no harm in taking that money. And the beauty is guys, this kind of profit taking on smaller accounts like that goes a very long way and this was when i was risking overall as you can see here 0.80 percent gain 0.43 1.5 percent gain 1.2 obviously these are much larger because they were larger risk as you can see by the position sizes being much larger than the original 0.01 lots but the fact of the matter is for those of you out there who are kind of fixated and you want to make loads of money in terms of profits on every single trade ignore what everyone on instagram is showing you ignore what all the influencers are saying and focus on short time frame for maximum growth with very low one to two percent risk on the account again when you've got a smaller account you have to be quicker because you're not going to capture every single trade as a very large global look you know kind of trophy trade instead you need to focus more on grabbing those profits when they're there and accumulating your account balance by taking those little profits which actually massively add up over time and remember when it comes to one percent risk one of the things you can do again not using this as an example but for those of you who are trying to replicate the trade like let's just say you have a hundred pound and you want to get it to a thousand pound yes it is achievable as i've shown here but i wouldn't recommend it and i wouldn't do this your growth and your goal should be focused on long-term growth. It should be focusing on slowly but surely building that account up, growing your confidence and taking those profits. Even if in the span of a month, you end up turning this to hundred pound or 150 pound, that is a massive return on investment in comparison to pretty much anything else, obviously besides cryptocurrencies. But unlike cryptocurrencies where you're more likely to just buy and hold and wait for it to go up, you're having to put the work in on this. But the beauty is we are doing this live with you. And the reason I have even showed this is just for a bit of motivation and a bit of a transparent side to show you that yes, massively over leveraged, cannot deny that. 
Yes, it's probably not going to sustain. And yes, if it does blow, I'll definitely show it straight away. But the most important thing for me is, is showing how you can actually grow your account if you do abide by those very simple practices and not being afraid. If anything, your goal should be to focus on having your account green. When you're on MT4, profit is blue, negative is red. When you see your MT4 go blue and the trades worked out in your favor, especially with good trades with zero drawdown, take those profits and do not feel guilty for taking them off the table. It is the best way to grow your account possible. So in a nutshell, by simply just abiding by these principles here, little intraday moves, and this is the great thing with the live sessions. I've said to the guys and all of the community members at Innovation, instead of me recording loads of videos on doing this, there's no better education than doing this in person. And that is why several times a week now, I go live with the members, we do the analysis fresh together, we execute together, market executions only, we take profits together and we leave the rest to run together. I cover the stop loss management side, I cover the take profit side. And this is the greatest way you can learn to do this. Instead of writing a book on it or anything cliche, by doing this live, we all learn together. And the amount of community members that have actually gone off their own back, it seems like every time I join a new live session now or start a new live session, someone sends me a message saying they've, say they've made another five to 10% purely from the scalping strategy alone. So this video in a nutshell, guys, is just to motivate you, just to show you what is achievable, and just to show you if you do want the educational side, do not feel any pressure to join, nothing like that at all. However, we do offer this and we can help you with this. And my strategy, is working incredibly well and I'm, I'm very happy with the results so far so it's more of just the thing for you guys where if you are stuck at the moment you're looking for particular investments or you're looking to do something with your money or put it to good use give this a go and have a little try and again you can ask any of the community members how they feel about this you can check my twitter on that as well but expand your horizons look further and don't forget there is no better way to grow your holdings without spending any more money than by continuously learning to grow the money you already have invested. And that's something I'm aiming to continuously put into practice here. So let's just say the account does end up growing and it ends up going to like 50K. Again, I'm not even looking at the profits. I'm just literally executing trades at the moment and seeing how they play out, testing my strategy, my analysis. If this ends up growing to like 50K, which would be fantastic, I'll probably do another live video if that was to work out and then put the profits into crypto or at least show the whole process of doing this and putting it into cryptocurrency after. As you guys know, I'm waiting a little bit more for the market to drop first before considering any new real investments. However, I've got a massive list of promising new projects I'm looking at. And ideally, whether I do this on my real account or whether I end up growing this account, I'm going to start focusing on putting more profits purely from the Forex side, which is what we focus on at Innovation as well, and putting them into cryptocurrencies to maximize growth. Very similar to what I've done with the XRP profit taking. Even if XRP was to go higher now, 50% of that additional investment I made is still in the market. The 150K profit is secured. I can reinvest that anywhere. We could even put that into an account and do this with 1% risk. But I assure you, try and replicate this with one to 2% risk and you will see fantastic results. And if there's anything you guys need, in terms of questions for this strategy or just questions regarding this overall. Just wanted to be a bit transparent, show you guys the wins and losses and the fairly risky over leveraging side of this business. It's all good seeing this, but you know, with 35% drawdown, few over leveraged trades, this account's gone. So I wanna show both sides to this and kind of clarify why I'm doing this, just in case anyone tries to replicate. Do not replicate this, but you can replicate the strategy and the profit taking strategy as well. So I hope it's just been a short, sweet and informative video. And again, let us know in the comments what you think. If you're interested in this kind of stuff, we can start producing more YouTube content on this as well. Maybe even do some live YouTube scalping sessions very soon as well. Get you guys familiar with this stuff. But yeah, worth opening your horizons, expanding, looking into new things and hopefully maximizing more profits for all of us over the coming weeks, months, and the end of the year. So take care, guys. Hope you've enjoyed the video and catch up very soon. We've got another crypto lesson coming for you guys very soon as well.